Hey guys, I know I already uploaded an Eid tutorial, but that one was very simple and someone expressed sadness that it was a very simple look when they wanted to go super glam on Eid, so I wanted to come up with another look, and this is what I came up with. I don't know how much more glamorous I could have gotten than this. Oh. I really love the response to my Eid videos. There are, of course, a couple of disappointing people, but I really don't give a flying shit about them. <laughs> All I care about is unifying women regardless of their religion, race, creed, whatever. I'm not doing this to promote Islam or anything, like I'm an atheist, I don't have any religious beliefs. I'm doing it purely because I feel like Islamic women are very ostracized in Western society and I really hate to see that. I just want um, the YouTube community to include everyone. I hope you guys that are celebrating Eid or love glam looks enjoy this video and just keep watching if you want to see how I did it. Okay, so I've already got my foundation and my brows on because I just filmed a little review on this automatic foundation applicator. Look how good it came out, but you'll have to go check out the video when I upload it. The foundation is Luminous Silk Foundation in number six. Before that, I applied the Burberry number one Fresh Glow Base, and then my eyebrows are just done with this ColourPop pencil in Bang & Brunette. Okay, so now I'm applying this Giorgio Armani eyeshadow in number 11. It's kind of multicolored when you turn in the light. So put that on and then pat it in with the finger just on the eye. This eyeshadow is really pretty by itself, but I'm gonna layer some stuff. Put this brown eyeshadow on a little brush. Well, this is not a little brush, it's fat. And I'm just working that into the socket. Can you see I'm holding the brush really close to the bristles? And because the brush is kind of thin, it's a flat shader brush, but it's kind of soft. So I'm using it to like push the product into the socket and then I can turn it on the flat side and use it to blend up a little bit. And I can take my finger and really soften that up. I'm gonna take this white color on the EXO Beauty Blender brush, put it as a highlight. Now I'm gonna go straight in with a gel eyeliner. This is probably my favorite one. It's by Sigma. It's the Wicked Gel Liner and then I use it with the Winged Liner EO6 brush. I like this one because it's a mini angled liner brush instead of like one of those thicker ones. I just prefer this one. Starting at the center of the eye. Just gonna take it sort of straight out to the side. Then I'm gonna take, draw a little invisible line from my lower lash line, connect it up. Fill it in. Then I'm going to draw the line on the inner corner and keep it very thin there. And then here under the eye as well. Trying to straighten out my lower lid, I don't want my eyes to look round, so I'm drawing it in thicker at the inner corner, so it lowers that inner corner, and not really bringing it underneath the roundest part of my eye, letting it sort of fade into my lash line, and that way it will make my eye look more straight. Ooh, I hardly breathed that entire five minutes I was doing that. This is what it should look like now, then take Charlotte Tilbury's palette again and get the dark brown. I'm just going to hold this under my eye and smudge out the lower liner with that brown. Mascara, this is the IT Cosmetics Hello Lashes. I'm going to take my Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. This is in medium, I'm pretty sure. Bit Cosmetics brush to blend that out. Got a little bit of concealer on the concealer brush. I'm going to use that here. I've got a clean eyeliner brush. Take some of the brown. Tap off the excess. Then I'm going to use that to run a little parallel line to the wing. Kind of make it look like the crease is kind of flinging out. 
Then I've got this Makeup Store Glitter in Soft Pink. And I'm totally copying off this girl I saw on Instagram. But I'm going to look down, draw a little line of glitter just below the socket. Just below where I've cut the crease a bit. Careful not to look up. Here I've got the Esquito Stephanie lashes. These are the Stephanie letter designed lashes for Esquito. Before completely moving on with the eyes, take the highlight color and tap it onto the inner corner. This is the Burberry contour, base contour stick. Take it in the cheek contour. And up here, blending it out with a Real Techniques brush. I'm going to use my NARS Copacabana as a highlighter. It's like a purple one, so it should bring out like the lid and the crease shimmer. Pretty full on. Going to powder my forehead with my translucent powder from Makeup Store. My chin. And my nose. Set that contour. I've got this awesome blush palette from Sleek. It's the blush by 3 in Pumpkin. I'm gonna get the orange one, I think. This is a MAC brush. It's really soft. And it's the 137. Pick up the teensiest amount. Oh, excuse you. Revlon Colorstay Lip Liner in Fuchsia. And then this lipstick. And how satisfying is that? Like just the shape of it, oh my god. It's called Fever by Hourglass. I love this shape because you can line that edge up with your cupid's bow. And now we are at the finished look. That lipstick is amazing. Anyway, I hope you guys liked it. Oh, let me put uh, a scarf over my head so you know what it will look like with a hijab. One moment. I am going to head now and I hope you guys have an awesome Eid celebration or if you are just wearing this look because you like it, then I hope you enjoy it for whatever occasion you wear it for. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment.